Um, I, I'd like to have my two partners uh, stand, uh, Roger and Sean. Roger joined us uh, a couple years ago, and Sean uh, joined us uh, three weeks ago. And, <laughs> and welcome. Uh, thanks very much. I look around the room here, and I see quite a few of you that we either, we either have done deals with, have looked at companies with, have invested in, and have spent quite a few years uh, involved with, and some others that we hope to invest with shortly. Today is a big day. Downstairs, Foundry Fuel was an amazing event. Uh, I was privileged to mentor four of the companies and watch these companies grow from a business plan to a great presentation, but more importantly, they actually have real products and real customers. Several of those companies uh, could be companies we invest in. In the last round of Foundry Fuel, we invested in one of the cohort companies, uh, and that company is breaking out very nicely right now. If I take a look at the dream that Jacques had back in 2005, 2006, and the phone call I had from uh, uh, Habib and Joshua saying, do you want to come up to Montreal and do an early stage fund? I'll be honest with you, I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if we had a big enough entrepreneurial community. I didn't know if we had an infrastructure in place. And I didn't know if it could grow to be something like Boston, New York, or Silicon Valley. So in the six years that I've been, I, I've been up here, I'm pleased to say that I look around the room, we have many of the same investors, many of the same faces. People I've worked with, people I've gone to the uh, pub with, people I've had dinners with. And more importantly, people I've created companies with. Uh, today, uh, Row Canada One, uh, we're about five and a half years into it, and our 21 companies have over $200 million in cumulative revenue. Now, I can't give forward projections, but let us say that the growth uh, it looks very strong for 2012. And more importantly, three of those five and a half years were recession years. So if you think about that, we have quite a few breakout companies. As mentioned earlier, Beyond the Rack and Exceedian, both Montreal-based, uh, both are doing very nicely, and both have grown businesses substantially in the recession. And take a look at what Roe has done in the United States with Enerchem. So if you take a look at three breakout companies all here in Montreal, you can see that the infrastructure makes sense. We've done deals with Inovia. We've done deals with BDC. We have done deals, uh, we'll hope to do a deal with Celtic now that they're, they're funded as of a few minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> we've done deals with Real Ventures and uh, hope to do a deal with Tandem in the near future as well. And we've done a lot of work with Founder Fuel. We've done work with Capital Innovation. And we've done work with Grow Lab, who is also here. So I look around the room and I have to say, this is working, your dream is coming true. And I thank all of you for the support in doing Row Canada 2. And Row Canada 2 is the same formula. You know, we have great investors that are working with great partners. The infrastructure to co-invest is very strong. We've brought in US co-investors, we've had Canadian co-investors. Our group in the United States has invested in 25% of our companies as well. So that's what Rogue Canada is about. That's why we're here. And the events today, the events we've had in the past, and the events we have going forward, the infrastructure is in place. So Jacques, I think the dream has come true. And I want to thank everyone here for staying with us and uh, welcome all of our funds that we do business with and the partners that created it. Thanks very much.